Hello lovely Pisces, this is Deb's Deborah Claire channel guidance and we are into February 2021. Where did January go? I have no idea. So great to be with you, thank you for being here. Um, and Pisces, really interesting energy. Pisces, you've met someone, could have been quite recently. Um, and there's a sense of feeling very nervous, but the reason why you're nervous Pisces is that you feel internally that this may be your person you make this may be your person you might have been quietly subconsciously looking for quite a while you may have gone on dates with other people um you may have walked away from a few you may have tried things out with a few but never really you have you met someone that ticked most of your boxes this person ticks your boxes pisces pretty much all of them and there's a sense that now you've kind of possibly met the person, you're not quite sure what to do with them, <laughs> okay? You're not quite sure how things are going to move forward and there's a sense of nervous anticipation. Is this really going to work? Are they going to put in the effort? So Pisces, that's all I've really got from Archangel Michael. So let's delve in and see what comes through, okay? As always, I'm using a crystal quartz to help me connect through with the fifth dimension. And the deck is the Gilded Tarot by Ciro Marchetti. Archangel Michael, who do we have with us, please, in this reading for February for my Pisceans? Thank you. Archangel Sandalfon, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Raphael. Wow, Archangel Gabriel. Thank you, Michael. Okay, my two spirit guides are with me, Angela and Rose. Uh, Cedric. <laughs> Cedric is with me. If you don't know who Cedric is, check check out my um, my story as a medium on my website. All will be revealed. All right. So Pisces, Michael's showing me a spider in the middle of a spider's web. I feel as if you've been kind of waiting for someone to come into your orbit, Pisces. I'm hearing a worthy adversary, somebody who's going to put in the effort, somebody who's going to build with you, somebody who's going to show you they mean business. And there's a sense of, well, I feel this person may be the one for me, but I'm not sure. Kind of sitting on a bridge between two worlds. Well, do I really cross over and move forward with this person? Yeah. <laughs> Pisces. Wow. Wow. Pisces. <clears throat> My throat's completely closing up. Pisces. What is going on? Oh, yeah, you see? <laughs> oh, Pisces. You are such beautiful, sensitive souls and you keep so much hidden. There's an awful lot of fear. Yeah, there's an awful lot of fear. But my goodness, Pisces, I feel as if this person wants you and you're sat terrified that this isn't going to work, but also terrified it is going to work. Well, what do I do now? Have I really found my happily ever after? No, surely not. It's that sort, of, that sort of energy. Pisces, this person is so into you. And I'm hearing that. Is that Ariana Grande's song? I'm so into you, I can barely breathe. <clears throat> and my throat is closing up. Oh my goodness, Pisces. You're very nervous that something is going to happen and... It's all going to come crashing down. That's what I'm hearing. I almost feel, Pisces, as if you are expecting this to just painfully end. Be careful, Pisces, you don't manifest this ending because that's what you're thinking about. No, this can't be right. No, this person can't love me. No, this can't, person can't be loyal. Surely not. Yeah. Now look at you. Look at you. Beautiful. Understanding the truth of the situation, which is, you know what? I've always thought the worst and the worst happened. For some of you, you're coming to the realisation 
that somebody is not taking no for an answer, Pisces. You're coming to the realisation that whoever this person is does want to build with you. Does, wow, my goodness, does want to fight for this. Yes, and they are not going to give up, Pisces. For some of you, you're nervous because it's almost as if you've kind of got a tiger, you know, you, you've got a tiger by the tail. Um, <laughs> there's a sense of, is this really true? Is this really real? Surely not. But I have a sense that you're going to going to understand that you can manifest this. This is going to work. This is you raising your vibration, Pisces. Wow. Feeling more optimistic, forcing yourself to be optimistic, Pisces. Because I think previously you always assumed things weren't going to work out. And what happened? They didn't work out. Maybe you've been concentrating on what might go wrong in a connection. And of course, when you think about that so much, you can manifest that energy, that negative energy. What you think about, you bring about Pisces. Do remember that. This is you. Every time you're sat in fear and stress, it's going to end. I'm going to get heartbroken. It's going to be a nightmare. I'm never going to recover. Push yourself out of that because Pisces, fear is not real. Fear is not real. It's a self-created emotion based on negative past experiences. Push it away. Every time you feel that nervous, churning stomach, oh my goodness, getting into your head, push it out. No, this is going to work out. This is going to work out. I'm going to do this. Yeah. Wow, Pisces. My loves. Okay. Let's delve in. This is what you're manifesting. Or this is what you have manifested in the past. Terrified that you're going to be left on your own, left on the shelf. Things are going to happen, which means that you end up with a broken heart, a lot of burden, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. Once again, a relationship that kind of hits the dust. I almost feel Pisces and I love you guys and I'm Pisces myself. I almost feel that you have been in a very difficult pattern of manifesting endings, possibly for several years, due to fear things aren't going to work out, due to negative self-talk, I'm too sensitive, I'm too emotional, I always give my heart too easily, so it's bound to end. Bam, it ends. And every single time you're surprised. And I think only now you're coming to the realisation that you have just been sat in a lot of negative self-talk. I'm going to make this work, I'm going to put in the effort, I'm not going to shy away from this. It could be that Pisces, you're so sensitive that it just took one sharp remark, one missed phone call, okay, one text that didn't quite sound right and you were like, no, not doing this. No, this person isn't going to be telling me the truth. No, this person is going to break my heart. And you've walked away. Self-sabotage, possibly. I think you are now coming to the understanding that Pisces, somebody isn't going to arrive on your doorstep as Prince Charming. They're not. You have to work at, at, at a connection. You have to work at it. If there's a text that hasn't sounded quite right, talk about it. You know, I really thought that you meant this when you said this. The other person may turn around and say, no, of course I didn't mean that. I meant this. Oh, okay. I thought that you meant X, Y, Z. So I got a bit upset. No, of course I didn't mean it like that. It's very easy when you are of a sensitive disposition as Pisces are to take things very, very personally. We're super sensitive. A lot of us are empathic. And we soak up energy, negative energy as well as positive energy. Remember that. And we also have a tendency to fantasize and stay in our heads a lot when we should actually be looking at the reality of the situation. This is what's coming to an end. Overthinking, overanalyzing, 
self-sabotage, thinking this is never going to work out, I'm always going to be alone, you're ending that, you're ending the pain of what you have brought into your life yourself. And this could be you walking away from situations way too early, you not giving somebody the chance to explain, you expecting happily ever after without really understanding what a situation is all about. Maybe opening up to somebody when you haven't found out who they are. All forms of self-sabotage. I think a lot of this stemmed, Pisces, from one significant relationship that you have never been able to detach yourself from the energy of. Could have been with a fire sign, king of wands in reverse. Somebody who lied to you, cheated on you, maybe stamped all over your feelings, okay, who with a page of pentacles in the reverse really didn't want a commitment, really didn't want anything stable. This is somebody you may have given your heart to very quickly without thinking. You didn't do your research, you didn't figure out what they wanted and you jumped into this with your eyes closed and you paid the consequences you did it because you're naturally very positive, you're naturally very trusting, and some of us have been very naive in the past, me included. But I think you've realised through maybe heartbreak that if you just put your feet on the ground, don't overthink things, don't assume this is going to be happily ever after, but don't assume every person that comes through your door is going to lead to heartbreak. You are balancing out your emotions and you're learning to manifest from a very strong, grounded, almost earth-like energy. I'm going to do this. Yes, I'm going to open my heart, but I'm also going to put up healthy boundaries. I'm not going to assume that somebody's out there to break my heart. But if they're not for me, if they just want a casual connection and I know that's not what I want, I'm just going to walk away. No regret. Just an open, honest conversation. I think that you want something very casual. It's not really for me, but it was great meeting you. No heartbreak, everything out on the table. Learning to do that. What you're thinking about, Pisces, with the Page of Cups in reverse, is pulling back from someone that you did have feelings for because you assumed that once again, it wasn't going to work out. Okay, I'm not going to open up, I'm not going to express my feelings because I'm pretty damn sure that this person doesn't feel the same. And you've been sat worrying about this. It's bound to end, it's bound to end, so I'm going to pull away first so that they don't end it with me and I don't have to feel that heartbreak. This is self-sabotage again, Pisces. But I think you are beginning to understand that whoever is coming in for you, to you, does want to treat you in the way that you know you should be treated, does want to put in the effort, is trying to be responsible, and maybe understands what you've been through in the past and is sensitive about that. Not pushing you, not rushing you, allowing you to feel your way into this giving you a bit of time. This is very scary for you, Pisces, because this feels like a very deep past life connection. And whoever this person is has a heck of a lot of passion for you. So you may misread their interest as just sexual, but it is not. It's deeper than that. Archangel Michael, when is the Two of Cups coming into play for my Pisces, please? Thank you. Well, okay. I'm laughing because I'm hearing the 14th of February, which is actually Valentine's Day. Pisces. Two of Cups. Even though you're terrified that this isn't going to work out, even though you're absolutely convinced that this person is going to end things with you, you're going to self-sabotage it by worrying too much, even though you're terrified of that, I think you are learning to heal that energy and 
with a lot of effort, try and go with the flow. Not overthinking, not thinking, is this going to be my person? Is this going to be my future husband or wife? You're not thinking about that. You're just allowing yourself to feel the connection between the two of you and trying to go with the flow. But this is how you feel. This is the two of cups. Someone you feel that past life bond with, somebody that it may be instantaneous. Both of you felt this. There was a sense of knowing, there's a sense of, yes, this is my person, but oh my God, what do I do now? Don't rush back into the Nine of Swords self-sabotage, putting away, assuming it's not going to work out and assuming this is going to be leading to heartbreak. It is not, but Pisces, you need to swim with the current. You need to move your energy not from sitting in black or white, but for just sitting in grey for a while. I don't know if this is going to work out, but I'm going to assume that it's not going to end in tears. So let's just sit in the grey area for a bit. Just feel this energy. No promises, no guarantees. Let's just see what happens. If you can do that, Pisces and not rush to any foregone conclusions, whether it's negative or positive, this could really work out. Your person is sat in the Ace of Wands. So much passion, so much chemistry. They are wanting this to move forward. I don't feel that this is somebody that you have to be scared of developing a connection with. I think this just tells me that this person has been doing a lot of thinking and as far as you are concerned, you are it for them. You're it for them. Could be a fire sign, yes. Could also be a Libra or a Virgo. We have Scorpio here too. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you just allowing your emotions to slowly build. Not dreaming of happily ever after, right? You're not picking out China patterns on the second date. Try not to do that. But you're not also running away from this out of fear. What you seem to be fearful of is with the Empress in the reverse, you're not going to be able to build this. You're not going to be able to expand on this connection. You're not going to be able to move into the energy of the Empress, this is you nervous that you've been heartbroken so many times, Pisces, that you have forgotten that you are an empress. You've forgotten how much you have grown, have learned, have experienced. For many of you, you are sitting in empress energy, but you don't think that you are empresses. You assume that you're not. No, 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 no. This person can't really want to be with me. Doesn't really want me the way I want them? No, surely not. Yes, they do. They can't, you can't see yourself as they see you, Pisces. That's the thing. This is lack of self-worth. This is lack of courage. This is you looking at yourself thinking, well, yeah, but, you know, I put on a few pounds or I don't look very good today or my hair needs washing or, you know, I'm not as sexy as that woman or I'm not as young as that woman. No, Pisces, for many of you, you are empresses. You just can't see it. Everybody else can, you can't. You need to get your va voom back, Pisces, because your person sees you as pretty incredible and somebody they want to build a connection with. What you're hoping for with a five of wands is, of course, to come out of inner conflict. This is you again sat in your head, again, assuming it's not going to work out. No, they're going to break my heart. You need to get out of this nine of swords, ten of swords energy that maybe you've experienced in the past and you're still kind of reminiscing about. Remember the time that person did that to me? I've never forgotten that. The outcome is beautiful, Pisces, because you're sat in the energy of the magician. 
This is a totally different energy than the energy you've sat in in the past, which is, I have to say, a little bit of victim, a little bit of I was taken advantage of. This person did this to me. This person did that to me. You're not thinking about that anymore. You shifted your mindset or you will be in the next few weeks into believing I can have anything I want. I can manifest the ideal relationship. It may be with the attention this person is going to be portraying to you, showering you with this attention. It may well be that that's what makes you understand that you really are the manifester of your life. You can have a wonderful relationship. You can be with somebody who is going to be loyal, who is going to want to work on things with you, who is not going to run off in the opposite direction in the first sign of trouble. They're going to build with you. There's going to be conversations backwards and forwards. They're going to be getting to know you. They're going to be trying to make you see that they are genuine, that you can trust them. And you are beginning here to just allow them to do that. This is beautiful energy. With the hermit, you are going inside thinking about things. Five of Swords, thinking about when you sabotage connections, when you push too fast too soon, when you ran away without getting to know someone. You could, of course, be simply dealing with a Virgo who was fighting for you, who has realised how much you have to bring to the table and they are not letting you go. It could be a bit of a shock for you, Pisces. It could be you sitting there going, but why? I don't get it because I'm not that great, right? I'm not like that girl over there or that guy over there. Why are they so interested? Pisces, this is again negative self-talk. They can see how much you bring to the table. You just can't see it. For some of you, you are simply thinking, as I said, of you, you know, in the past being taken advantage of. But I feel that whoever this is does mean business. With justice right underneath the hermit, you could be dealing with a Libra or a Virgo or indeed a Gemini, Aries or Scorpio. We have somebody who is feeling that you bring balance to their life. They're feeling that you're the person that they could move forward in life with, that they could have a proper relationship with. Somebody who's going to be there for them, somebody who is going to be putting in the effort this person could even be thinking about marriage. And with the eight of wands, they're making the effort. Passionate messages, going backwards and forwards. Can I come and see you? When are you free? Shall we meet up? Okay, after that time, when else are you free? When can I come and meet you? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? They are not going to give up. They're fighting for this. You may be sat there thinking, I really don't understand why. Why are they fighting for this? This is bound to end. No, Pisces, you are realising that you have manifested something pretty wonderful. Overall energy, the sun. Happiness, forward movement, enlightenment, stability, contentment. This is peace, calm. You feeling exceptionally happy. You could be moving forward with a Leo. Nine of cups, a wish come true. This is what you've dreamed of, the emperor. So you could be moving forward with somebody sat in the energy of the emperor, somebody taking control of the situation, somebody very grounded, very stable. They've learned life's lessons. I almost feel as if this person is wanting you to understand that you are indeed the empress. You are indeed their match. This is somebody who's not going to take no for an answer, Pisces, so you better get used to it. This person is going to chase you. They're going to be banging on your door. If you don't answer a text, they're going to wait for a couple of days, text you again. This is somebody that you may feel is pushing a little bit too fast too soon. They do have a lot of passion, but I don't see manipulation. I don't see somebody who's going to lie to you. I do see somebody fighting for you because somehow... 
you have crawled into this person's heart, Pisces, and they cannot get you out. They can't stop thinking about you. They're all up in their head about you. And it may be because you're coming across as a little bit mysterious, a little bit withdrawn, a little bit nervous. Maybe this person has got used to women running after them. Why is that Pisces not running after me? And of course, yeah, the chase is very attractive. That's why men don't particularly like women who chase after them, because it's unattractive. Men, naturally, their primal urge is to chase, to conquer, to achieve. If somebody is too easy for them to catch, they get bored very quickly. You, ironically, Pisces, may have pulled away because you're fearful, you're nervous, you don't feel that you've got what it takes. They see you pulling away, maybe, because you're not interested. But you know what that's going to do, Pisces? That's going to fire them up even more. So this is somebody who is running after you. And you may feel very scared about this, apprehensive. Oh, God, they're texting me again. Why are they texting me again? Not because you don't want them, not because you're not interested, you're sitting thinking about the two of cups when you think about them, but because you're nervous. Where is it going to lead? Am I going to be heartbroken again? So my Pisces, let's delve in, okay? Let's see what happens. Archangel Michael, what is the energy of the Nine of Swords crossed with the Ten of Swords? Oh, my Pisces. I think you're just terrified of allowing this person into your life. Terrified, oh, too many, Michael, that it's not going to work. Terrified it's not going to work. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Hmm. Pisces. Hi, Priestess. Sometimes this is Virgo. Sometimes this is Pisces. But for me, this is always somebody fantasizing up in their head, not talking. This can be manifestation. This can be, I'm just stuck in my head. I don't know what to do. Page of Wands. There's a little message of passion coming in and you are wanting to block it. No, 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 no. This person is going to break my heart. Oh my God, I'm terrified. All this swords energy. Pisces, what is going on? Where's you feeling your emotions? Not thinking your emotions. Go with your feelings, Pisces. Yes, have strong boundaries. Yes, of course. Don't immediately jump up and down saying, yeah, great, this is going to be my person. Get to know this person. Ask questions. Take it slowly, right? You know what I say, don't whip your clothes off in two seconds flat. Allow them to get to know you slowly. Have a lot of self-respect, but don't automatically assume this is never going to work out. Michael, what is the two of cups, please? You feel that you can build with this person. You feel that, you know, you want to do this with this person. You feel this is your wish come true and you know that if this works out it could change your life literally but there's fear coming through there's fear i think you're going to do two things i think you're going to get to know this person slowly i think you're going to hold back on actually pushing forward them with them too quickly but you are going to allow them to get to know you. This is you balancing things out. Yes, thinking about things a bit, but also feeling the emotions. Not so stuck in your head. Yeah, seven of pentacles. This is someone that you know, Pisces, with the two of cups, that you could have a future with. Wow, Aquarian energy. You know that this could bring healing maybe to a series of negative experiences that you've suffered. At last, somebody that I can relax with, somebody who's going to heal past heartbreak, somebody who can be a wish come true. Scorpio energy. 
This is going to be a transformative relationship, divinely ordained. This is going to move you forward. Look at these major arcana, Pisces. This is you having learned those lessons, knowing that you should embody, embody the energy of the Empress. It's time, Sagittarius energy, taking your time, a lot of healing. This relationship is going to be so healing for you, allowing you to express your feelings gently, slowly, not pushing it, not rushing it. Coming out of fantasy land, Pisces, feet on the ground. This is a lot of self-respect and self-worth. Finally feeling in your power again. Beautiful Leo energy. Archangel Michael, who is sat in the Ace of Wands? Who is sat in the Ace of Wands? I'm hearing, I can't help it, I love you. Wow, I can't help it, I love you. I think a secret is coming out, Pisces, that somebody might have been holding for quite a long time. And I think it might surprise you. I think this is someone who wants to build with you. I think this is somebody who wants to put in the effort. I think this is somebody who, after a little bit of thought and maybe some delays, they are going to open up. They know what they want and they want you. Okay. A lot of energy in these cards, guys. King of Cups. So, Pisces. We have a lot of passion, we have balance, we have happiness, enlightenment, and we have love. This is, this is a man in love. Wanting to move forward passionately with you. This is open, honest, straightforward communication, nothing hidden, everything out in the open. Nothing for you to be worried about. They want to offer you this cup, they want you to accept it. They're willing to put in the effort. They're wanting to move forward. For some of you, this is you building a connection with somebody at a bit of a distance. Cancerian energy. This is procrastinating. Don't know whether or not this is going to work. This is someone going hell with it. Yeah, I'm taking control of this. I'm fighting for this. Let's do it. Opening up to you. Expressing their feelings. Wanting you to work on it with them. Wanting to build. Pisces, this is amazing energy. Now, what is interesting, under the deck is the Nine of Wands. One little word of caution, and underneath that, the lovers, Gemini. This person is not going to wait forever. Yes, have self-respect. Yes, pull back. Yes, be careful. But if you make this person wait too long, this could be a bit of a dangerous situation. Just a warning. Archangel Michael, what is the magician? I think you're manifesting commitment with somebody pretty amazing. Somebody that's going to put you on a pedestal. Somebody who is going to know your worth. Somebody who is very much wanting you to relax with them. Relax with them. This is someone that I feel sees you very differently than all the others. And this is you finally allowing yourself to feel the excitement of this relationship building. Not pushing it, not rushing it, not holding back, just going with the flow. Remember, what is your animal totem? The fish. Slowly allowing the tide to move you upstream. Not fighting against the tide. It may seem a little bit nerve-wracking, Pisces, for you to do this, but I think you're going to do it. Um, there could be, I'm hearing travel, there could be travel involved, but I think you're, that's it. You're going to be moving forwards with somebody that really does hold you in high regard. Yeah. So this person means business, Pisces. King of Pentacles. Grounded, stable, determined to put in the work. 
somebody who wants to be your other half. You're going to be feeling pretty damn successful, pretty good about things. I've got this amazing person who is wanting to put in the effort with me, is not wanting to let me go, sees me as an empress. Beautiful. Yeah. Manifesting the Ace of Cups. Manifesting your dreams coming true. Moving forward, leaving any negative energy in the past, any hurt, any heartbreak. This is celebration. Feeling excited about love again, Aries energy, moving down this new path with an offer of commitment. Nothing rushed, nothing forced. This is somebody who will patiently stand on the sidelines, waiting for you to feel comfortable in moving forward. Wow, Pisces. Moving into White Rose Guidance. Archangel Michael, what would this person say? to my Pisces. Wow. There we go. You are my star who outshines all others. Pisces. Oh my goodness. I love you. I hate you. I can't live without you. Pisces, for some of you, this is how you're feeling about this person. This could be a return from the past. I know, I know. Anything else that this person wants to say to Pisces? Anything else? Okay. Wow. I didn't fall in love with you because I've always loved you and always will. This could well be somebody coming back around. You leave me breathless and without words. This person is a bit besotted, Pisces. You may be in two minds, but I think for the majority of you, this is you moving forward. Underneath the deck, I can't face you right now. The intensity between us scares me. This could have been someone who shot off in a different direction, Pisces, because they couldn't deal with the energy between the two of you. This is also someone that may have scared you. You may have just decided, I can't do this. I'm going to sit in fear and worry and anxiety because of the strength of this connection. This could be your energy, Pisces. You're sat in the Two of Cups. So, I do feel all is going to end well. I think you need to give this time. I think you need to know how much you have to offer. And allow this person to court you. I think this is somebody very traditional who is going to put in the effort and the time to get to know you. So allow them to do that with grace and gratitude. And this will work out, okay? So people, I'm leaving it there. If this is your reading, do reach out, debraclair.com. We'll see where this goes. For now, sending love and light your way, many blessings, and I shall see you very soon. Bye now.